Come on, there! Okay. That almost killed me. Let's heal. Okay, guys, I'm playing Hollow Knight. So. Okay, first of all, my charms have been switched. I replaced some charms with King Soul, but only for temporarily, though, because I'll be changing the King Soul into something else. It's just to open the way to a birthplace, so I'll be going to that birthplace now in the abyss. And also, before I go there, this episode is just, you know, getting, you know, most of the charms. So, yeah. And I have a lot of stuff to sell, so I really need to sell these stuff. So, I'm also gonna show you where. So, it's basically like an upgrade episode. So, yeah. I'll also be getting most or all of the vessel fragments or the mask shards. So, yeah. So, anyways, without further ado, let's start upgrading by going to the birthplace. So, I'll meet you there in the abyss. So, here I am in the abyss. First, you need to equip King Soul in order to access the birthplace. You'll see something shaking. You don't have to descending dark it. It'll just open automatically. Okay. Um, we're here. These siblings that looks like your shade, they deal double damage. Be careful. This is some sort of maze. So you gotta complete it. There are also spikes, so be careful. Then, you'll see this. Now, dream nail it. You'll be in a dream, alright? It's the same abyss. No cost too great. So just wait. After a few fallen bodies, go press your attack button rapidly. Then climb up. You'll see a cutscene here. Here's some sort of maze. Your screen will kinda cover the outer areas. Oh no. You cannot um, die here, but you can take damage by the spikes. So yeah. I think I go left. Now I go here. I will climb. So just go to the top. Born of God and Void. Those are some lore messages. Wait. The horns are different. That's not the knight. The player, I meant. Okay. You shall seal the light that plagues the dreams. You're the vessel and the hollow knight. I think he's talking to the... The one that's standing, not the one that's hanging. There! It got transformed to Void Heart. The reason we did this is so I can get the true ending. Not really the true ending, the third ending. You'll see in the final episode. Now, these shades or siblings will spare you now. So, you can basically go back up freely. Now, with that done, let's go get some charms. Okay, our first charm will be at the abyss again. So, this time, equip Lifeblood Heart, Johnny's Blessing, and Fragile Heart. You can get Johnny's Blessing in Howling Cliffs, Lifeblood Heart by Saluba in the Forgotten Crossroads, and then Fragile Heart in the Fungal Waste. 
Then go here. Then wait. Alright, let's go in. Now this will be another one of these spiky courses. You're also in some sort of dream, as you can see with the circles. I think those are dream catchers. They look like dream catchers. Okay. Under. Go here for a safe spot. Look down. Okay. Oh no! Okay, here. Look down. No, I should have dashed. Again. There. Try not to die here. It's pretty short. Crystal dash. Oh, there's something here. Arcane egg. Alright. I did not see this in my personal playthrough. How rare. And this is the main thing. Lifeblood core. You go back. And now, it's closed. You cannot go back in. So if we did not get the arcane egg, which is sellable, well, sorry. So that's one of the charms down. Let's get the next charm located in Crystal Peaks. All right, I'm here. First, I missed something here. Okay, let's go kill this guy. Just that this is an area you can double jump. Get the king side out. Then. First, these guys are killable if you do a spell. I thought they were not because of the crystal armor. Uh, should have dark dashed there. Okay. Okay, let me kill this one. Alright, is there a crackable wall here? So, crack it. And just another puzzle. Specific specifically for the crystal dash. Alright, good, good. Let's heal. Okay. You can go back up. So you can um, fast travel. And you'll see this crystallized room. Get the charm deep focus. So it's the opposite of quick focus. You can heal by two. But it's gonna be longer. So let me show you how you can fast travel. You can crystal dash here. There's a breakable no. There's a breakable flowing. Next, there's another boss in the crystal peak. He is just nearby. Check map. There should be a bench, yeah. Alright, we can go here. Rest in the bench. The map will be updated. No need to show the map. Then go on top. Then prepare for another fight with the Crystal Guardian. The Enraged Guardian. There is no room for healing. So keep attacking. Watch out for his beams. I'm not doing any um nail arts. I just want some rapid hits. Oh no. Yeah, he also does double damage. Oh no. Come on, there. Okay. That almost killed me. Let's heal. Get your mask sword. And another win-win. It's kinda easy. 
Okay. Now we're done with the Crystal Peaks. Let's move on to... The Fungal Waste. There's a lot of things I have to do there. Oh yeah, one more thing. I saw in like YouTube, there's a hidden gob here. This is where the gob mimic once. This is my first encounter with one gob mimic. Yeah, there's the real gob. So yeah, I did not notice that. Anyways, moving to fungal waste. Alright, there are two things I need to do here. No, three things. First, I go to Mantis Village. There's a charm here I missed. You get it once after you defeat the Mantis Lords, I think. Usually that a mantis will close the switch, preventing you from going in it. There's a couch here, no, a bench. Let's not go there yet. Actually, let's not go there, so... I won't have to traverse back to Queen's Station. First, the Geo. There's another chest. Which contains the charm. It's this one. No, it's not that one. Okay. I think it's here. Yup. There's so much treasure in this room. Mark of Pride. That's the main thing. I'm gonna equip it. Actually, once I get my hands on the Queen Station bench. After I do the two things needed left in the fungal waste. I'll meet you at the second location. Alright, this is the second area I'm in the map. So the thing here is I have to save this bug on the left. So, yeah. So it's like a hidden path at the bottom right, I guess. So let's go do it. First get this charm, Dash Master. Boosts your speed. Then this area. Secret area. Kill all the mushrooms. You don't have to. Then there's a puzzle here. I know those plants have um, five explosives. Okay, quite easy. Alright, almost there. Alright. Her name is Beta. You'll see her in Dirt Mouth. Then just break that. And let's go to the... The waterways, I guess. Alright, I'm here. So, somewhere... Yeah, I can kill it from here. Let's also kill the lower body. Somewhere on the left area. There's a secret area. Wait. Let me load this bat first. Yep. Around here. There'll be another mini boss. You'll get a charm after you defeat him. Here's my charm selection. Wait, let's go to land so you can see. By the way, you cannot unequip Void Heart. It's there permanently. So, I replace Long Nail, of course. And Sprint Master with Mark of Pride. So, my nail has longer range. Of course, I can combine Mark of Pride and Long Nail, but it's just gonna consume more Charm Notches. Look, Marm. I'm a bit streaking him. Really easy. He'll just summon like some minions of flukes that just home around you. That's all he does. He just summons them like two at a time. So fluke nest. What does this do? Transform the shade soul into some mini flukes. Combine this with defender's crest, a big fluke. So yeah. 
Defenders guys can have like a lot of charm combinations. That's it for the waterfalls. So next. Let's go to the cellar. So yeah. I think he's at Fountain Square. So if you like explore it too much. His shop will be temporarily closed. You have to go to Fountain Square. I'll show you where he is. Fountain Square is around here. You know the fountain of the... The Dreamers and the Hollow Knight down here. This is him. Okay. Relic Seeker Lem. Kachail Bliasoke. Right, then go back to his shop, and then he'll have, you know, some dialogues regarding some of the relics. Especially the arcane orb. So, yeah. Let's see what he says about the orb. Velmi Ardred. You got a lot of geo for them. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Artred. Give him a second time. Kachail, Liasoke. Velmi And then a third time. Oh, Paul. Then let me just sell all of these stuff, so I'm just gonna pause. Alright, I've sold all of my relics and stuff. So, moving on. There are two more errands I must do. I know that's not all, but I'm just gonna do the others off cam. So, yeah. Because the next episode is gonna be important. So, first... Let's get the Vessel Fragment, or just a few more errands. The next Vessel Fragment to find is... At the Forgotten Crossroads. Just at the elevator of City of Tears. So yeah, I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm here. So, go left. Just clear this area. So defeat all the enemies you can see or that are on your way. Like on yeah. They're blocking your area. Check here. You can destroy this path already early. And then that's a vessel fragment. Alright, so now I think there's just one more. I have some on what I need to do for my head, for my brain. So yeah, so there's one more charm and then I'll show you something. So yeah, for the video. Before I get the charm, this is Dirtmouth. You'll see Breta here sitting on the bench. You can dream nail her. She even has her own house, which is in the right side. You can get the mask shard here. And then you can inspect something here. Alright. Now, our final thing I'm gonna get. The final thing I'm gonna get. Is actually from the start. King's Pass. The reason I'm taking the elevator here is so I have more area. To actually crystal dash. Through the King's Pass. Don't worry, I won't go through the very beginning. Okay. So, around here. Get the Geo. And 
Then you can read this tablet. Get this. Then, Fury of the Fallen. When you're at 1 HP, your attack will be raised. There's even a hole here. And some free geo you can get. The last thing I'm gonna show to you is Tag Nest. Whoa. There's a free vessel fragment there. I already got it. So right after, you know, getting all the stag stations, there'll be a last one where you can automatically get after the, the last one or the final one you got. The stag nest is where the last stag was born and the other stags. He's called the last stag because all the other stags were finished off. They, I think they died, like in the background. The vessel fragment is where I'm standing right now. It's floating. So I already got it. Let's explore more. This is like some kind of elevator. It's not working. But you can go here. Crystal dash. Then you can inspect an empty eggshell. It only makes a sound effect, and that's it. But the thing here is that we're in Howling Cliffs. So, yeah, there. So, let's go back now. So, I can end. Alright, I'm back. After you explored the stagness, the last stag will have a little conversation. So, yeah, about it. So, that's it. Please like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. The map will be updating. So, yeah, every time you explore a new area... So, yep, this is just an upgrade episode. Next episode will be quite interesting. So, yeah. Off cam, I'll get some charms and finish the vessel fragment. So, yeah. There's one more piece each. And one more pale ore, which I'll also get off cam. So, yeah. There's two more pale ore you can get, but I'll just get one. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. I'm not gonna see you in the next video now. Let's check on Breta's house first. She's probably in the bed. Yep. So, anyways, now I'm gonna see you in the next video now. It was quite tiring going to all of these places at once and also long. So, yeah. Anyways, now, goodbye, guys.